Hi, this is my practical example for my red, green, blue LED controller. I've already built the circuit. My PIC Micro has got the code on it. It's slightly modified. It's uh, set up so it takes five seconds in between uh, from one ramp to the next ramp for uh, changing the brightness and colors. I've uh, hooked up the ULN 2003. This is because my PIC Micro can only supply 25 milliamps per channel, but by utilizing this, I can drive much more higher current devices. And in this case, I'm using three red, green, blue LEDs. So if I uh, just say for argument's sake red was on, uh, I've set up the, the resistor networks at the base here to uh, drive each channel uh, at 20 milliamps or a conjoined 60 milliamps all up per channel. Okay, so uh, one thing to keep in mind is that sometimes um, the different colored components of the LED can uh, have different forward voltage drops. Uh, with these ones, uh, the red component has a uh, roughly 2.25 volt forward voltage drop, and the blue and the green has uh, about 3.75 forward voltage drop. So I've uh, biased my resistance resistors accordingly, and yeah, you can work with that and calculate the required resistance depending on how many LEDs you have for each channel. Okay, so from here, I uh, one other thing I want to explain is the red, green, blue LEDs. Uh, they, they do produce a very strong light source for each color component, whether it be red, green, or blue. So to diffuse the light or make it mix together and add the color as a summative color effect, I'm going to use uh, this plastic uh, white container, uh, something that's semi-transparent, or this is almost opaque, but I'm uh, using this to help meld all the colors together so it looks more of, a, of an average effect. I'll show you it first out of the box. It's uh, fairly bright on the camera because these are very, very bright red, green, blue LEDs. So I'll, I'll try and face it away a little bit. But here you can see the uh, the light doesn't really. Uh, it's you can see the the colours changing. Uh, in this case, it's now in white and now it's going green. But the colours don't look like they're uh, they're mixing together as as well as they should be. So I'm going to help uh, the whole process and diffuse the light. Diffusing just means I'm bouncing the light around and giving it more of, a, of a, a, an average. So here you can see this is the bright spot where the LEDs are on this side, but the, uh, the overall effect that the light bouncing around inside the white container, within the white container, it's uh, giving an average of, of the three colors, allowing you to see a summative effect of all three. And yeah, the the program set up so it'll uh, adjust one color from a maximum down to a down to a minimum. Uh, choose an, the next random uh, value between 0 and 255, which will determine which color it's going to alternate up or down again. So I'll just leave this going for a couple of seconds, just so you can see some other color variations. Of course, the whole the whole process is, is random.